Hello everybody, so it's days like this where I'm glad I became a golf professional, not a weatherman, because I predicted the weather was getting better over here. They're forecasting minus 15 at the weekend, so what do you do? You go out there and you make a video anyway. Today, um, Jeff wrote to ask me uh, how I use the ground forces to turn my hips, and today that's what I'm gonna show you. Uh, see you in a moment. <laughs> So, when we're talking about ground forces, we're really just talking about the pressure that we apply to the ground in order to move. And we do this all the time, we just don't realize we're doing it. And when you're trying to move your hips, you're having to apply pressure through your legs and your feet onto the ground to get your hips to move. Because we're thinking more about our hips, we do tend to kind of try and use the muscles in our hips and in our butt to turn the hips but it's not really going to be very efficient so what you're actually wanting to do is to kind of press with the left foot against the ground but you're not pressing kind of directly down it's more across the ground and what we call shear forces so it's like me trying to slide my foot across the floor but the foot obviously isn't moving across the floor because I've got some decent shoes on and they're pressing against the floor and they've got grip. So what it does is it presses against the floor and, and the actual body moves in the opposite direction. So in order to get my hip to move backwards, I've got to get my left foot to move forwards. Now that all sounds quite simple until you actually say that I don't want the right hip to move forwards. Unfortunately, the physics of the, of the game say that if, if my center of mass is here and I press here, then that goes back and that comes forward. That's physics I don't want that to happen so that means I got to apply force to this foot as well in order to hold this hip back while applying the force to this hip to turn it simple stuff in it really um, so how do we do that so at the top of the golf swing really what I'm doing is I'm, I'm starting by bracing with my right leg so my right leg is basically pressing against the ground and almost slightly away as if it's trying to hold this right bum back and then I press at the same time with the left hip and that gets me turning now I know that's a little bit of a kind of a contradiction against a lot of things you've learned you know we wanted to kind of get the weight over and we wanted to turn around the left side that's coming later what I first of all want to do is get some stability in the right side and the right hip get the left hip kind of pushing in this direction and in order to, to keep the right hip back the right foot's got to press in that direction as well now I know you've got a feeling if I was to actually kind of press with both feet in that direction that my bum's got to be going like that but you've got to remember all the other forces which are actually applied to the body at the time you've got this golf club up in the air your upper body is tilted forward so actually when you actually start pressing you are more likely to kind of do this if you weren't to actually apply the pressure to the ground. So what we're trying to do is kind of get the feeling of my bum being held back. And because it's being held back, actually the forces which are pushing in this direction will push my upper body in the upper direction. You see that? So strangely enough, it's helping me to keep my posture. And if you are one of these guys who kind of gets into a great posture address, and then as you come down, your bum goes forward and your head comes up, this is because you're not really using the ground correctly. You're trying to turn and stay in a position with your lower body instead of actually trying to kind of press your lower body away from the ball, back away from the ball, and, and therefore keeping your upper body over the top. That was really good English. I'm sure you understood every word of it. So when we get to the top of the swing, we're going to actually brace here push against the ground, push here, and the left hip's gonna come back. You see that? Without the right hip really doing anything. So when does the actual weight transfer all happen? Well, I mean, you know I like to talk more about pressure than I do about weight, but what actually happens if you think about it and is that the, let me just move this thing over here a little bit, is if you can imagine that's the kind of the corner. Um, I want a kind of, push my left bum around the corner and when it goes round the corner the pressure that I'm applying to the right foot which is kind of holding that right bum cheek where it is will suddenly kind of have no resistance and it will kind of slide over 
So you can see that that position that you're kind of looking for comes right kind of before impact. Just as I'm kind of got that hip out of the way, my right shoulder's come down, brought the club, and there it comes. So it's not like I'm bumping and turning. I'm getting more kind of everything out of the way, and then when it, I'm out of the way, then it comes through. So if you put it all kind of together, the whole trick of it is to get this kind of pressure against the ground at the beginning of the downswing. The right side is just basically trying to hold the right hip in its position, and the left side is trying to push the left hip out of the way. Well, I hope you understood all that, because I, I, think, I think I did. Now comes the real tricky bit. You've got to practice that a lot. You've got to practice that so much. Um, apparently around about 1800 repetitions until you've kind of got all the synapses in your brain kind of firing off and getting the, the right uh, movements going on. And also obviously to get a feeling, get it automated. You can't do that on the golf course every day unless you're a golf pro and you've got nothing better to do. So what I try to get my students to do is just find anywhere where there's a kind of a door and, and just stick their right butt cheek on the door and then just press their left butt cheek around the door. So you see, it's kind of going back, going back and then coming round. Going back, back and round. Yeah, 1800 times and it will be automated. Then you've only got to kind of go through a decent pre shot routine and call it all up. I hope this helps you. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments down below. Um, if you like the video, smash the like button. If you uh, want to see more kind of videos like this, then subscribe to the channel. That helps a lot. Thanks very much. Nice talking to you. See you next time.